Volvo is charging ahead in Australia. The international brand is pledging to sell only electric cars like this one by 2026. That is four years earlier than its global commitment. I personally don't think there's a future for combustion engines. We can't keep selling old technology that's outdated and also keeps pumping out lots of CO2. Volvo only sells hybrid models in Australia. I'm a great believer that in Australia we can't be half in and half out. We've got to either go for it and be authentic or not at all. Volvo's 2026 pledge to ditch petrol-powered vehicles entirely will see it join the EV purists like Polestar and Tesla. Both brands secure deals here to supply Hertz. The rental car company's boss says that customer demand is strong. I think the transition will go a lot faster than people realise and you know, announcements like Volvo saying only EVs after 26 is a signal that the manufacturers have actually seen this. Polestar is owned by Volvo's head company, Geeling, meaning the brands will soon be direct competitors. Polestar went on sale in February of this year and we've already delivered over a thousand vehicles. Tesla is the only one of the three brands with a model currently in Australia's top 20 most popular new vehicles. It sold more than 1,000 of its Model Ys in October. The Ford Ranger claimed the top spot, selling five times that amount. While Toyota dominated much of the list, with more than 14,000 sales for seven vehicles. Toyota says it will be offering electrified versions of all of its cars, like this four-wheel drive, by 2030. But the company isn't setting any firm dates on when it will phase out combustion engines. The company says that Australia is a unique market because of its remote and regional settings. While some drivers may have fears over range anxiety, it hasn't put Louise Woodward off buying an electric vehicle. I live in a regional area and I spend most of the time just going to and from work, so I don't have particular range anxiety. And it's saving her money as fuel prices soar. Electric cars are nicer to drive and they're so much cheaper. Louise has one of the cheapest EVs on the market, which still starts at $50,000. The federal government is trying to bring down the price of EVs with subsidies and boost supply with emission targets. Australia doesn't have any sort of incentive structure, there's no uh, emissions sort of standard and so it does make it very difficult for us to get hold of the stock to bring into this market. Unlike other markets where companies are forced to meet targets. We're competing with the UK, for example, who have already introduced a mandate to stop internal combustion engine vehicles being sold from 2030. The Climate Council says that some car companies are seeing the writing on the wall and it wants others to set more ambitious targets. We really want to see them stop revving their engines on the starters blocks and join the rest of the pack because they're going to get lapped by the competition. A race that is now underway with more teams competing.